Chapter 7, The Balance Practice A week ago, I tried doing a handstand push-up. I pulled a muscle in my back. I ran track in high school. I did it to impress a girl I liked. My first years in track practice involved me running as hard as I could every practice. I thought that if I practiced hard, I would get good results. It never happened. My run times never improved. Finally, my senior year came around, and I decided I would slack off in practice. Something miraculous happened. Every week, I would drop a second off of my half-mile time. This happened for two months straight. Unfortunately, the turnout for the track team was pathetic. Sometimes we didn't even have more than ten people at a single track meet. About two months into the season, our coach decided to run me in as many races as he could. I ended up running my hardest for over two miles that day. In the last hundred meters of my last race, I pulled a muscle. My times never got better after that. I told my coaches I was hurt. They didn't believe me. They thought I was trying to slack off. I had to run more. I got hurt more. I was out of balance. When I tried my hardest every practice, I stretched myself too far out of balance. You don't build muscle when you work out. You build it when you rest. If you never rest or you overexert your muscles, you get worse. I didn't understand this until I started to slack off. Slacking off was the best thing I ever did in track. It brought me back into balance. My perception of laziness was nature's rule of strength. I had to learn that the hard way. I tried to do a handstand push-up when I hadn't worked out my back in months. Nature let me know I wasn't following the rules. Here is the balance practice. When you are out of balance, nature will bring you back the hard way. If you want it to be easier, then start listening to what nature is saying. I'm not trying to be philosophical here. Literally, take time out of your day to do nothing. Sit there and reflect on how you are feeling. Some people call this meditation. It is what it is. But know this. The universe is not going to turn its volume up so you can hear it. You have to turn your racket down so you can hear the universe. If you are distracted, you won't be able to pay attention to what your body is trying to tell you. I didn't listen to my body for years. I didn't improve for years. This is the importance that your internal experiences play. The utility of pain is obvious. I was a United States Marine for five years. One of the most common catchphrases of the Corps was that pain is weakness leaving the body. No, it is not. Pain is a signal that lets us know where our vulnerabilities are. Ignoring pain results in damage. Overcoming pain and sacrificing your health to benefit others when they are in need is courageous and admirable. If you aren't spending your time being a hero, then it would behoove you to listen to what your pain is trying to tell you. Pain lets you know what you need to do next to get stronger. It lets you know what to protect. Yet pain is just the beginning. There are so many more internal experiences we have that let us know what we need to do to achieve balance.